reverse Woo! gravity. Woo! You could almost say that gravity is <laughs> I am just not happy with you. <laughs> just want you to know. You're like every doctor I've ever met. <laughs> the moment I walk through the door, they're like, I'm done with you. <laughs> I don't know you or anything you're about or why you're here to see me, but just get out. <laughs> but you're not worth it. <laughs> I already said that you're too poor and I don't want to deal with you. Get out of here. And then I go, what, what? Down, up, X. And then do 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 I guess that's a one. You can just slide through the bottom. You don't have to use your light ray. Ah, no handgun. Ah. How I did we start using, how did we, why did we start using big swords? Because they have more damage. Yeah. In Whoa! 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 I knew that was gonna be it. Yeah. Uh, you know, a quote from UHF that I wish I said more? What? They call me Mr. Butterfingers! There's <laughs> <laughs> a guy that cuts his thumbs off in a shop class demonstration, <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> it's. It's you one of my. What you gotta do. Huh? That movie is just one of my favorite movies. Buy ten spatulas and get the eleventh for just one penny. <laughs> spatula city, spatula city. Uh, and then you always say, "Time to drink from the water hose." And the little kid that's like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> then they sh shoot him with a fire hose until he flies off his little seahorse or saddle horse. It's great. That's a stupid movie. I love it. Uh, I can't believe Bernal just got broke because of that movie. It was actually really bitter for him. Like, he, like, a bunch of people who made it were like, yeah, you're gonna make this studio big. And then they went bankrupt and were like, thanks a lot, Weird Al. Like, you broke us. And uh, he was, he just felt guilty about it. I know. Oh. He did, he, I think it was the, uh, what album was that called again? Food album? No. UHF? Mm, he no. literally has an album from UHF. No, the one with Nirvana. Oh! It smells like Nirvana. Is that what the album's called? Yeah, because the song he made fun of was Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh, oh no, no! Weird Al Off the Deep End. Off the Deep End. Uh, he didn't really make, you know, it, that was his comeback. And he didn't know if he was actually able to ever come back until that it album was. saved his butt. Man, I love that album. That's I was thinking album. of that album the other day. Ba 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 baby. Time to call a plumber. plumber. <laughs> uh, I don't know the rest of it. But it's a great one. <laughs> like, I listened to that original uh, song and didn't realize that it was combined with another really vanilla song. Yeah, his combinations are. Uh, I wish he did more mashups like that. He's he great. Not like polkas. Polkas are okay, but his mashups are good. His polkas are good, but they really depend. Oh, <laughs> uh, where are you going? Well, I was gonna go out to the underwater area because we didn't pick oh. up all those freaking chests. That's true. Okay, go yeah. get those. Go get them. Get her. <laughs> That's your plan. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like his um. I like his polkas, but they are like some. I mean, it's just accordion versions of popular songs put into a medley, which is fine. But I liked when he combined two Red Hot Chili Pepper songs and oh then my gosh, that was a two million vanilla songs. Song. Like, he, it was great because he took a slow portion and then sped, like, took a sped up song and he mashed them together so well that I thought they were part of the same oh, thing. Oh yeah, no, he's creative. <laughs> like, I couldn't even think of that. Yeah. Yep. I mean, now he can, but I'm saying... <laughs> he opened my He eyes. opened my eyes to do it. He opened my and now you can hear my polka mashup. In... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why we both took up accordions. <laughs> 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 Wow, wow. I used to play a trumpet. 
Yes, you did. Were you ever actually good at that? Uh, you Why always you used to tell me I sucked, so time. I don't know. <laughs> I know, but I did that because I hated that you kept playing the damn thing. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel at all ashamed about playing an instrument because you would always tell me how horrible I was. I just... Oh wait, I did. A lot. <laughs> it really made me not want to play trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're done now, so... Yeah, because I was like, well, I can't practice this because then people will hear it, and if they hear it, then they'll tell me how crappy I am. We should make this. Yeah, do it. Look at the resistance it gave me. What, an enchanted staff? I'll go with this. You're gonna hit people with a staff? It's, but it's counted as a great sword. Yeah, all hmm. done. Hey, does sword expertise also apply to great swords? Or no, only... I, need to I need to make great swords. What? You I just made a great sword. Great sword expertise. Ah. I know the dead people want this. I'll go with this. What? You know. Oh, right. Yeah, dead yeah. people. Old Bury time. those murderers dead! <laughs> 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 well, we don't have any dragon hearts. I can make a scarlet dress. Look to the stars. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> the stars, darling. <laughs> okay, let's not do Oh, I can do that, yeah. I'll go with this. So, yeah. Great. I have never been more disappointed in my life Ooh, than when I worked I like for a production it. company that knows every movie under the sun, but they never I'll heard of Bra uh, no, Dragon Heart. Dragon Heart? <laughs> they never do you heard know? <laughs> of Dragon Heart, and that bothered me. I said, come back if What, come you don't at least know the main song from Dragon Heart? And they were like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I said, but that song it was in every award show Dude, from like that 1995 song still, to like still is, it's yeah still new. to now. It's still <laughs> and it's a great like even though it's a cheesy movie, uh -huh. cheesy movie. Oh yeah, it had heart. It was great, it had... it was, especially a dragon heart. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it kills me that I didn't think of that first. <laughs> I thought that's what you were going for because you had that it. you had a smirk on your face like you were about to say I something smartassy. No. Like, I I just had that smirk on me sometimes. I was thinking about all the actors in it. They were so great. Oh no, I love Is this that movie. Many thanks. It's a great movie. It's so good. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. It's stupid. But it's it's but watch stupid, it. it's but great. it's stupid. It's just a system. Sometimes a stupid movie made in seriousness. Many thanks. It's just good to watch. I don't even know if it was made in seriousness. Oh, I think it was. I think there was a sincerity to it. Oh, sincerity. Yeah. I heard serious. I acted as this thing, but I meant sincerity. Okay. Like, they really made it being else? like, oh, we should make a movie about dragons many and thanks. give their hearts to people and help them survive. But one guy's really bitter because a guy turned into an asshole after he got a dragon heart. <laughs> That's and, and literally he, the plot. And, and he blames the guy. <laughs> and he blames the, the dragon, dragon that gave him a heart. Thank and you. so he went around killing dragons because Is this of many thanks? Is this many thanks? Is uh, thank you? Is this many thanks? <laughs> and then he's like, I'm here to hunt down every last dragon. And then, and then Sean Cattery as a dragon says, I am the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Such a good movie. It is a great movie. Yeah. So forever live on in my memories. It's just one of those movies where like people are like, yeah, it's cheesy. I'm like, yeah, of course it's fucking cheesy. Yeah. Are you saying you don't watch cheesy well, movies? Don't well, no, that. like, there's a new trend, like, sci-fi puts out movies that are, like, really dumb. Like, I watched, I haven't seen Sharknado. I don't I don't know, I don't know if I can. No. There's just movies that just make it dumb, it and like, isn't it, it fun? Dumb. It's like, not. It's not fun. I don't, yeah. I'm not having fun. I, can't have it. I wasn't having fun. <laughs> I don't know, it's like they looked at the audience, and they are like, it's so stupid! <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Many I can't do that. But... Like, and I, I did watch El Chupacabra versus the Alamo. What? It was bad. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eric Estrada is in what? it. What? What's that movie called? <laughs> you heard me. El Chupacabra versus the Alamo. It wasn't a movie night that you declined to go to, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, that was a thing. And let me tell you, Eric Estrada was in it, and to relive his glory days and chips they literally had him pretending to ride a motorcycle in front of a green screen 
and it was like, oh boy, it was a bad movie. It was stupid. I can't tell how much of it was made because they were like, this is the this Jimmy Keen stupid. Right. Let's just do it. Like, I don't know if they took any of it seriously. I suspect not. How are you? Yeah. And so movies like that just aren't as much fun for me because Here's my job is for. to make fun of things that take themselves seriously. <laughs> I don't know if Dragonheart took itself. If they beat me to the punch, I have nothing you to hit. <laughs> it's just not this sporting. Good <laughs> Lord, Julia. It's not good sport. You hear me? That's all that's to it, you know. So they want a ribbon? Oh, I think I have a ribbon. It looks this like it. Yeah. it showed green and it said times one. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> oh, 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 Is it in here? Mm -hmm. You have to actually find the ribbon? Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> there it is, ribbon. Get rid of it. Here's what you asked. This is it? You're wearing crazy crap. This yes, is the keepsake I'm looking right. A you diamond. have a diamond, apparently. Yeah, I have a diamond. Thank you. Wait, how many people Hello. died? <laughs> My god. A whole entire village, Julia. We have to remember this whole dang town? I guess we do. You've been dead for ten years, this is gonna be a lot of people. I've been in a coma for Whatever, ten years. Whatever, I bet. Don't everything. be so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> as good as dead. <laughs> Uh, I know you got a crystal because you opened it from the treasure chest. Yeah, and I got it. I saw it. Yeah. And he says I have it. There. Diamond. I have three. Here's what you want. Wait, a diamond for. is not a crystal. This is it. Oh. That's one more. <laughs> majestic plate. This oh. Seems actually majestic. Ah, oh, it is. <laughs> this is the key. This is it. Oh boy, this must be really. Oh exciting. my gosh. Okay, so. All right, we have that. So, yep, you guys get to witness. Oh, you get to witness all the stuff that we. So, hold. are there more graves after you turn these in? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I associate with Easter <laughs> <laughs> is watching um, Gettysburg. You know, yeah. the Battle of Gettysburg, like that movie that, from the nineties. That. <laughs> Not really something I would think about for Easter. But I think every Easter. Okay, maybe it was like one Easter in my childhood, but it's the I, only Easter I think Easter it was like two Easter. Was it two? Yeah, and I just remember watching it the first Easter, and I was just horrified. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I was horrified because everyone died. Oh, well, yeah. No, no. I'm not thinking of glory. I'm thinking of glory. <laughs> and that was Christmas. Oh, was it? Yes. I think the only reason I saw Glory, you had a habit when we were little of being like, Julia, like the parents are asleep, let's go to the living room and watch movies. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how I saw like the first half of Braveheart. I never watched the second half. And then um, how I watched Glory, how I watched Evil Dead. Oh yeah. my gosh, that one actually, oh my gosh, that one freaked me out when I was little. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Army of Darkness, though. I think I watched that before I watched Evil Dead, and I loved it. I loved it. It says we have an oracle. A rich Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Well, I don't know. It's, it's highlighting green, like we have it. But maybe I got it wrong, you know? I don't know, you lied to me, is that what you're saying? You lied to me! You told me this was regular coffee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Farley skit. You should look it up. <laughs> Actually. What? If I remember, uh, have me comment the link to that so that people watching this can click on that little link. Wouldn't that be a little can bit of. We do that? Yeah, of course we can. Like this, this. I can do anything I want in the comments. Screw you! You heard me! <laughs> Screw all of you! <laughs> Just, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> if you press R1, then you could get full dishes. Ah, uh, yes. I need consomme. Consomme. How do you make consomme? Consomme! 
That just sounded racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's French. Black pepper and uh. Beets. You don't have any beast beef. Man, I need black pepper. Ah. Uh, black pepper. I can. I, Should I make chicken curry? Yeah. G bone steak. That's right. <laughs> yes. What kind of animal makes a G bone? <laughs> what? Remember, I said that the first time I saw us get a G bone steak. I was like. What? <laughs> How do you get a G bone? T bone makes sense. You know, that's like a cross of yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah. What makes a G? I'll go with this. Mm -hmm. You can't just make things up like that. What anatomy of what animal Great. has a G bone, huh? Tell me that! <laughs> I have not defeated one demon that I believe has the anatomy that would support a G bone steak. You just threw me out of the I'll realism of this, this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bloodstain. You ruined it. <laughs> ah! uh, so, oh, it. the reason I brought up Gettysburg is because the guy who did the music for that also did the music for Dragonheart. And those had two and great. Our family on road trips, we had a little cassette tape of oh, yeah. um, Gettysburg. Gettysburg. And I a, loved it. That's a good movie. Fweet, fweet, fweet. Fweet, fweet, fweet. Bat! You got it. <laughs> you got it, kid! <laughs> you got the bat! Cha cha cha! <laughs> Great turn. Oh. Nice. Oh, Although yeah. I do enjoy healing, you know, one slow HP at a time. <laughs> I don't think it did you much good. No, it didn't. Oh, you see that little black spot there, though? Where you, um. Oh, yeah. 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 The black, the black spot! The black spot! Uh, that was Muppet Treasure movie. Island was a great movie. We've mentioned it multiple times. We have. But we shall mention it multiple times more. Because all of you are having Kevin Fever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that took you two hits to hit. I never explained my favorite song from the Scooby Doo album. <laughs> We got so lost. We went from Dragonheart to all. I don't oh, even know yeah. what was before Dragonheart. Okay, so that monster reminds me of Josie and the Pussycats, which also reminds me of a little Scooby Doo album I had as a child. For some reason, I think for Christmas, somebody gave me that, and I listened to it, and it was like basically nine versions of the Scooby Doo intro. Like, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? But like nine different versions because they had nine different shows. <laughs> and. There's actually, you know, Scoop, where are you? Anyways, the point is, <laughs> um, also, it had a song between when they had a crossover with Scooby-Doo and Josie and the Pussycats. And that was one of my favorite songs. And it's uh, Josie explaining, she has to make her mind up about, I think, dating Scooby-Doo? Oh, I have yeah. no context for that song. That's what it was. Yeah. It's I'm going to have to make my mind yeah. up. Love you, Scooby. Yeah. I got to have some time yeah. to make my mind up. Love you, Scooby. Uh, that was a good song. Yeah. It was it, catchy. Yeah, it was. I think Look up that song if you have time, people. That boy stink. Other things are left yeah. about you, uh, Scoop. I don't really yeah. dig. I hope these claws on your front paws are not too sharp and please! <laughs> if you ever scratch my back, please like, don't scream if you fight, please. Uh, I love that song. Oh God. <laughs> why do we, why? Because that monster reminds me of Josie and the Pussycat. Fantastic. I've explained it a hundred times. Yes, it's been a hundred times. Or maybe twice. Oh, my God. Does that cow go? Inverse. I wanted to see if the cow went out. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> I guess she's not gonna have any time to make her mind up. <laughs> uh, Julia, like. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been drinking beer for a week. <laughs> I finished my water too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now that my alcoholism is gone, I have water. <laughs> alcoholism? It's not. 
<laughs> no, I'm too cheap to be an alcoholic, and you know it. <laughs> no, you do not. Working at a liquor store, you don't need much money to be an alcoholic. Really? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Cheapest thing is three ninety five. Tell me, how can I afford to be an alcoholic? <laughs> I'll tell you, people. If you don't mind crap vodka that can at least yeah. get you drunk if you mix it well enough, uh, it's three ninety five for a pint. Three ninety five. Three ninety five for a pint. For a pint of vodka? Yeah. Boy, <laughs> this is too good of a deal to pass up. <laughs> I can't afford not to. <laughs> Ew. Uh. Yeah. No, it's disgusting. I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I don't understand. Like, white Russians flying, but, like, that was one of the first drinks that I could drink, you know? Uh, but usually I, I do beer that pretty much tastes like water. And Coors Banquet. I do. I don't know why or how I got into it. I think I had a roommate who, like, would always have beer, and he was like, oh, yeah, give it a shot. You can have some. And, like, I was really poor, like really, really poor to the point like I only could uh, drink water and eat literally the, the scraps of rich people, um, the table scraps. And uh, <laughs> oh. I saw that. And uh, deep, deep trouble. I would go home at night and make myself top ramen and because I was tired of water. Like I tried the beer in the fridge and the forced banquets. And it was just, I don't know, it was filling. And it was just nice to be, like, not hungry at the end of the day. <laughs> to make that sad. <laughs> yeah. Wow, right. So, it was just a nice, satisfying little, like, something to eat at the end of the day. So that I didn't have to go to bed hungry. <laughs> wow. Now you know. <laughs> Now you know. Poverty made Coors my favorite beer. <laughs> Thank you, Coors. <laughs> I won't starve tonight. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you look at me, I'm not starving. You're but... no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good time. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm doing a little better now, but that's because I'm not traveling the world anymore. <laughs> I'm going to not run away from my problems and pretend I'm not poor by going to third world countries and acting like a <laughs> I miss those days! <laughs> it's literally it hasn't been that long. It hasn't even been a year yet. Yeah. But oh my gosh! <laughs> That's all I had, man! <laughs> what are the locals about? <laughs> I would not, but. <laughs> oh, it was good. Good times. But I'm going to change my first world life into something livable, maybe. We'll see how this goes. Well, I'm here to face it. <laughs> In any case. I mean, that's different. <laughs> and now I drink pours out of all the good memories it gives me. <laughs> I don't know where you were trying to go with that one. <laughs> I mean, I don't drink it because I have to. I drink it because I want to now. Yeah. That's kind of a good thing. Mm, it's better. A good change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Are you looking for my approval? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad decision. <laughs> I look no one's approval because I know I'll never get it. <laughs> I'm going to have to look about that. <laughs> Also true. <laughs> Where? Yeah, I got sidetracked by a lot of things. Where Sorry, are you people. Going? <laughs> I need to get the Where ages. Are you taking me? Have we avenged a murderer yet? I'm pretty sure you killed enough of those pussy cats. You're right, I did. Whoa! It looked like you weren't gonna fall there yeah. for a second. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going back to the teleportation device to actually turn in the murderer. Uh, uh -huh. Turn in the murderer. Turn in the murderer. Oh, that's better. I knew I was saying turn in the murderer was not the right choice. Yeah, you can't turn in a murderer. Yeah. Right. I think you can, but then I feel like if you think about it. <laughs> you go, boy. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Wrong gender. You know what, Joey? 
You go, girl, could be used to anybody. It is not gender exclusive. I don't know what's Any girl can go, whether or not they're even a girl. <laughs> this is a statement that is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Your laughter doesn't make it sound like I it. laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it sounds like you're mocking them. I'm not. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm beyond caring. <laughs> and that laughter was a punctuation of fact. That's what it was. You gotta decipher the different types of laughter. <laughs> Means, yep, that's what? true. Have you learned anything new? I'm learning. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. You've avenged the death of Carl! He is your reward. Have you learned any Here's what I've turned up She has up learned nothing new. Oh, gold cool power ring. Millionaire's Bane. Ooh. So it's... I guess it's in the Millionaire's Bane area. There's a Millionaire's Bane area? Yes. Julia, we've looked at the door several times. I don't know. It's near the city store. Oh. Oh! The Sylvie oh. store, yeah. There's a million door. And I want you to go there and try putting a shadow copy in the chair. Just humor I'm not going Just humor me. I don't want to. Please. No. Come on. Just... What if the internet hasn't found this out yet? I very what if much we're the first? <laughs> I very much down. What if, like, an idiot couple of YouTubers... <laughs> they, I, it's too late! It's already there! That is our thing! What? What's we're idiot reason? YouTubers. Yeah, we're sibling YouTubers that are stupid, but I bet if they're like, Ugh. they were the first to stumble upon the secret of Celeste's room. Like, yeah, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> they're like, yeah, their names were then. <laughs> on <in> our clubs. <laughs> or it will be forgotten. <laughs> They'll wish. They'll wish they could forget, but they won't be able to. We found that Celeste room, and we knew putting a shadow doppelganger in one chair and sitting in the other chair was the secret to Celeste. Celeste's success. Shantae, you stay. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. I haven't watched it. Yet. Well, I really don't want to see it. You did that now. I you don't. Did that now. Isn't there something here that this is... Swimming speed. Yes, if you do the jet blast thing. No, not that. There is something else. I don't know what you speak of. That's why I'm So in Water Leaper. I think that's a toad. Welcome company. That's the uh, little face things. Face things? It's the pictures, Julia. You can summon portraits? Yes, we already knew this. What? <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> you were there! I don't think so. You were. Wait, summon a portrait. What kind of portraits can you summon? Just a regular portrait. It's Robert Downey Jr., the little cat <laughs> one. I forgot he gave some names. There, <laughs> amphibian speed. Mr. E from the Eels. Come on, Joey, there's a lot. The guy from Weezer. He looks just like Buddy Holly. Oh no! Yeah. Hmm. Time to get I don't know why you were inverted. No one alerted me. I got it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I liked it. Oh, what's a strider belt? It's a belt. Yeah, I got that. What's it do? Belt made to withstand rough movement. Improve sliding ability! <gasps> do it. Do it! Well, the speed belt increases my record. Oh, it does not. Look. Look, there's no difference. <laughs> do you really have to say that like that? Yeah, it's so do. weird. <laughs> It's like you're trying to become a rapper. <laughs> you're trying? I already am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dr. Dre, I'm sorry. Let me start at the start, then take it no! away. No! My name is Simpson, Bartholomew J. That's fuck with an and a capital B, then Sin plus S-O-N. That's me. 
Introduction aside, let's move right along. You can all sing along with the sound of a gong. And once upon a time, about a week ago, all of a sudden, trouble started to grow. Alarm was buzzing, I was snoozing. Time to get up, but I was refusing to let reality become an intrusion because I'm dreaming dreamland. I was cruising, but the buzz kept buzzing. My head kept buzzing, and the radio was throat and heard an explosion. Open up my eyes to my surprise. There's to the moment this temperature got. I said, I'm real sorry. That didn't cut it. I started to protest, but Dad said, shut it. Get up, hold on. Move it on the double, because if you don't, you would take deep trouble. <laughs> oh man, that is impressive. That you know that. <laughs> I don't remember the other parts. <laughs> like, well. that is incredibly impressive. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I listen to it in the car a lot. <laughs> Like, I have never been able, every time I start thinking of a song, I get like only a part of it right, uh -huh. and then I just forget the rest. Well, I mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> huh. I just forget it. I can't think of it. It's I, over. April's the same way. I mean, a person that I know is the same way. Yeah, well, we're real good on that one. <laughs> a month is very much the same way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, she said, because I was like, oh, like, why don't you just sing, like, what are your favorite songs? And she'll be like, I don't know. And I was like, well, no, like, give me a couple of lyrics. Like, what song are you thinking of? Just tell me some words. I don't know any words. Okay, well, like, hum the tune. I don't know the tune. Okay, I know the tune, <laughs> but I do yeah. not know the words. <laughs> she'll be like, it drives me crazy, because she'll be like, oh, that reminds me of a song. And I'm like, oh, what song? She'll be like, I don't know the name. I don't know any of the words. I don't know the tune. I'm like, how does it remind you of anything? <laughs> it drives me nuts. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I'm like, just hum, just hum a little bit. And she's so reluctant because she's like, <laughs> and you're like, come on! There's more to it, I know that. <laughs> I know there's more to this. <laughs> well, there you go, Joey. I am a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Slow it down there, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start myself a career. <laughs> yeah, I can do the Simpsons rap. What of it? <laughs> I also like to do some Bloodhound Gang bits that I remember. <laughs> yeah, that you know Bloodhound Gang is just. I got in a lot of trouble when I was eight. <laughs> You yeah, did. Yeah, that was the only time I think. Because the par I'm the youngest, and the parents were just dang tired by the time I came around. Like, punishment was not much of a thing, especially for me. Because they were just, they couldn't be bothered. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, that was one of the few times in my, as my, in my childhood that I got in trouble. Was when I was singing along with Bad Touch from the Boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My mom was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was a bad one. Maybe it ain't nothing but mammals. <laughs> so let's do it like we do with the Discovery Channel. <laughs> uh, she was not happy with us. Period. <laughs> Joey, you let your little sister. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? <laughs> oh, you got blamed for that too. Oh, God, it was yes. Our middle sister's fault. Let's be honest, she's the one who kept playing um, Bloodhound Gang. Oh, yeah, the middle sister. Uh, she's oh. nothing but trouble. Talk about deep, deep trouble. <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy, you're about to get hit by all sorts of creatures. So there wasn't. Until you're. No! Oh, that's, that's your night, guy. That's my night. <laughs> I love it because bats can't hurt you neither. That's that can't hurt me neither. No, sir, no how. You heard I, I got blamed for a lot of things, maybe. <laughs> yeah, everybody but middle sister got blamed for things middle oh. sister did. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, okay, April and Megan, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You never will see this, but we blame you, and we're going to the next episode. <laughs> This time I found out first. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. <laughs>